See? I just hit them point blank range with lightning, one of the strongest elemental forces that we've known as mankind. And it still didn't even piss him off. He just kind of just stood there and just waited for it to be over. Like a mild massage. Alright, so we're gonna fight the captain. If he was dressed in black, he would look exactly like Brooke. Wow, I really gotta stop doing that Japanese anime thing there. Alright, so it's really quite simple how to kill this guy. All you gotta do is kinda hit him with cannon fire because he's too much of a freaking wussy to just turn around and fight me myself. This is simple. I mean, it, okay, not so simple. But I do only have one life bottle, so it'd be kind of messed up to kind of, uh... You know. But the captain doesn't even fight you. It's kind of sad. He just hides behind a bunch of barrels. Oh, by the way, uh, may I call to attention that Dan has, like, what? Like, shot down a bunch of barrels before in his, uh, other levels. And apparently these are iron ones, like, specially made ones that he's unable to break, and I am talking too much, I really need to finish this thing. Alright guys, no playing around, we only got one life bottle, we're out of life bottles, we, only have, we don't even have full health, so I gotta finish this. Just to cap it off. Uh, the burn. Yeah! Oh, the chalice can be collected now. Well, if I knew where it was, that could help. Ah, oh, no. No, 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 no. Gold shield. Please let me have the gold shield. Yes. Fear before my awesome gold shield powers. Oh, there's more down here. What the heck have I got myself into? Alright, well, I'm not screwing around anymore trying to find that thing, so I'm looking right in the strategy guide. If I can find the pause button, there it is. Well, I'm glad I finished off the captain before I got the chalice, because I just got the chalice, and I was recording myself for about five minutes before I realized that it was on standby. So, yeah, sorry about that. But since I love you guys so much, I'm going to do the first stage of Xerox Castle 2. Just to get it out of the way, it's a real quick level, there's no enemies whatsoever, and I really got nothing else going on today. I, I am in a good mood. I'm usually not in the mood to do this. Usually it's like I wake up in the morning and I really don't feel like doing this stuff. But you know, I'm feeling energetic today. I am doing three levels of Medieval. And this is going on YouTube as Medieval Extreme Review. Yeah, I'm so extreme. Alright, so Xerox Castle, the actual castle, is nothing more than just a empty building. The real arena and everything is beneath the castle. So, you yeah. know. See, all of this right here, that is nothing but like empty hallways, what you're seeing right now. Everything else is beneath it, I, in, like in the cellar. I, I don't know, I don't, I don't get that. What do you think Xerox hired to make a castle this high up in the clouds? Huh. Oh, imps, these guys weren't fun the first time, right? Oh, yeah. They got like toasted in like one hit from lightning, all right. Alright, well, this is the, probably the last easy level you'll see in a while, but, yeah, this is Xerox Castle. So demonic, isn't it? I bet you were expecting guards, or maybe, you know, Army of the Undead you'd have to fight. Not these little imps again, but, ah, toasted. Uh, this is basically, I think they put this in here just so you can recognize it from the main title sequence. Because this is from the main title sequence, this entire area. I think they just put it in here so they would re so Oh crap, we showed those scenes from the beginning of that, the start of the level. We gotta show it in there now as an actual level. They didn't really have to do that, I really wouldn't have mattered either way, but alright, man, whatever. Um, Alright, so this is the, uh, place... No, this is the end. Okay, this is the place where you, uh, go out of the... Okay. No, I want to go up. Alright, so let's do the camera. Come on. You know, I really didn't have that much trouble with the camera. Most games like this have like trouble with the camera. Hi, ah, you can't steal my lightning, can you, you little bastard? I don't think they can. I 
I never really tried, but... Try to steal my lightning. Can't do it, can you? Ah, okay. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so this is the opening from the beginning, where uh, Zerok did his evil dark spell, his Evernight, the... No, this is where he left the castle. This is where he was reading the magic book right here. I guess this is his magic book. No, this is his diary. No, this is his spell book. Okay, where's the part where I get to put all the uh, demons back together and make everyone go away? Summoning demons, robbing people. To... Okay, let's Zerak must be an interior designer, because for, you know, demonically, horribly, uh, evil castle, this actually looks really, you know, colorful. This is actually one of the more colorful levels of the game. Wow. Alright. Dragons! Yeah. Alright, so, he didn't steal the lightning, I just ran out of it. You're kidding. Oh, no, this is... Oh, these are... Oh, I forgot. Yeah, uh, these are special imps that are resisted to, to physical attacks. I forgot to projectiles. I, I forgot about that, yeah. I think that's the, that, that's, that's the curveball they threw in. Let's give them a level that has the, only the weakest enemy, but they're resistant to projectiles. That'll screw with their sense of direction. Alright, now where is the chalice? This is going to sound really stupid, but I forgot where it was. I think it might be down here. Yes, it is. Alright, well... Xerox Castle, everyone! You know? I feel sorry for the first gamer who played this game. He was probably thinking, oh crap, here comes Xerox Castle, hardest level in the game. He's probably getting all geared up, getting all excited, going back, getting his health filled up, and he finally goes into the castle, and he deals with nothing but a little projectile immune imps. Wonderful. Alright, well, that's it. Whatever, man. interior design. You know, not a lot of castles have giant 10-foot dragons in their arcway. That's actually very clever. Do I get my statue now? You know what? Now that I finished the most easiest level in the game, I'm probably going to get my statue. Ah, oh, no, you didn't. Okay, you disappointed me, game. Killing a bunch of shadow demons or ghost pirates. No, that wasn't enough. You you, you uh, had to throw in that. I thought it would be easy. Now, now it's the shield guy. So what are you going to give me now, huh? A piece of string? Maybe a helmet? You're back, okay. Guess that's kind of useful. I do need to get more lightning. Oh, wait, no, I can't buy more lightning. You know, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be that bad if they could actually put lightning in. I mean, lightning is the most expensive thing in uh, Resurrection, but at least they give you the option to buy it. Alright guys, I'm gonna quit this before I start finishing the entire game and I make this more like a movie. So, uh, thanks for watching my extreme three-part medieval review. And, uh, you know, go back to your lives. Have fun. I'm gonna go eat some cake. We made cake last night. It's chocolate. It's actually very delicious. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.